Hello everybody, it's the Vintage Reviewer back with another video, and today, now stay with me here people, calm down. Today we will be reviewing the 2018, I know it's not vintage, but it's it's Halloween-y, so, and it looks vintage, so we're going with it. Uh, we're going with the uh, 2018 Funko Savage World uh, Jason Voorhees figure. There are five figures in the line. You got Jason, uh, Freddy, uh, Leatherface, Michael Myers, and Pinhead. I do not want Pinhead. Don't like him. Just, just don't like him. Never seen that movie. Never going to see that movie. That's all I can say about that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, uh, first off, we're going to take a look at his accessories. So move him out of the way here. And we have a bone axe. You know, because it's uh, Savage World. They're trying to do a fancy, like, uh, you know, barbarian horror movie character. Like, they're doing it in this... Uh, here, they're doing it in the style of He-Man, of Masters of the Universe figures, so this is kind of what they would look like if they were there. And here we have his classic blade. Moving my mic here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. His classic machete. In which, uh, in my opinion... Um, Again, why? Okay, that's like a tiny handle. I don't think this is Jason's machete. I think he brought the axe with him to this party. And that uh, he left his machete at home. Because one, I don't think Jason would let his machete go by with this many chips and cracks and scrapes. and. But he won't let the blade look this bad. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks absolutely terrible. It's probably dull. It's dull. I mean, it can't be sharp. That'd be dangerous, but it's 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 dull. Uh, as for the figure himself, uh, again, you get standard uh, Masters of the Universe articulation. Got uh, all the way around at the arms. Got the waist. Not on a spring. Just a standard swivel. Uh, he does not have 365 degrees at the head because uh, his mask gets in the way. And uh, if you haven't picked up any of these figures, uh, they're real fun. They're real nice to add to your collection, to your Evil Warriors team. Uh, I have Jason sitting up there behind uh, behind Skeletor's throne on my shelf. Uh, he's just sitting up there looking all intimidating. Uh, but one thing I have to mention about these figures before I go into the legs, while I'm going into the legs, is the ball joint. Because uh, Funko did not want to do a band kind of attachment. They wanted to do a leg in a ball joint and then it pins in there and stuff. Uh, when I got it out of the package, this this leg broke immediately. It just fell right off. Like I took it out of the package, I sat it down, and then he went, and fell over, and and his leg was and his leg was off, and I was like, "Well, that's not good." And so, you know, I I got him in a nice standing position, and then I got the hot glue and I plastered his leg with hot glue, and now he stands just fine. But uh, with your leg, you'd be getting all of this articulation here. Basically, anything you can do on a ball joint, you can do here. So yeah, let's look at let's let's now uh, now let's look at that detail. Here you have Freddy mask. He's got his classic Jason. Uh, what did I say, Freddy? A second. Oh my jeez. Whew, Sorry, bumbling my words. I had Freddy on my mind because I was like, mm, I gotta go buy him. Uh, now, here's your you know, standard Jason hockey mask. It is broken. It does show like a little bit of, of, of like, uh, full, uh, like, like skin tight bones with his teeth there. So 
He's got like a little chewed out ear. Strap goes around his head. You can see worms coming out of this side. He's got an ear. Then, of course, th these guys are very gory figures. Or at least Jason is the most gory uh, out of all of them. Um, he's got some ribs uh, sticking out here. Got some ribs sticking out there. He's got his shredded outfit with uh, with belts and straps covering him. And a chain for a belt, a loincloth loin here. I may have a soft rubber. He's got a belt and a chain. Looks like he's got some sort of a cuff. A studded cuff. With another uh, strap around his bicep there. Uh, then we have a thigh band, a band around his thigh. Also, none of this is as as movable. Um, and it, it got uh, his his pant. It looks like he rolled his, he rolled it all up to to like right there. So he's got short shorts on. And then he's got his big Masters of the Universe style big furry boots for the winter. Let's give him his weapons here. So now that he's all armored up, now Alf is over there in the corner. He's kind of scared. He's kind of intimidated right now since we have Jason on screen so he can slash you. You're gonna die. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna cut you up with his axe and his machete here. And um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the back. Um, he does have some ribbage, ribbage sticking out in the back there. And he also has some uh, has spine bits. Yep. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. No, sorry. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Um, it's the month of Halloween. I wanted to do a He-Man, uh, I mean a Masters of the Universe figure, but I couldn't think of any figures that are that Halloween like themed, you know? You know, I guess I guess you know what I'm trying to say, but anywho, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below and I'll catch you on the flip side.